Today, I'm putting all of the teams in the ACC conference up against each other. These teams are fighting until there's only one remaining, and the remaining team will be the champions of the ACC. Before we start, make your comments below on who you think is going to win this. And before the imperialism, let's go over the basic rules. First, I will spin a wheel to choose a random team. Then, I will spin another spinner to see which direction the team will be attacking in. Then, according to the map, whichever team the arrow lands on will be the team that the selected team will be attacking. The attacking team will be away, and the defending team will be home. I will then put the game into NCAA 14 and simulate the game. Whoever wins this game will take the other team's territory. Without further ado, let's get right into the games. Here are all of the teams in the ACC. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who will be playing first, guys. Here we go. It is time for the first wheel spin of this video. It looks like it's going to be Wake Forest. Wake Forest will be the first to attack in this tournament, and it looks like they will be going northeast. So if we take a look at our map, guys, that looks like Wake Forest will be playing Duke. I think it's just barely Duke here. It's close, but I think it's going to be Duke. That's our first matchup. Here's how this works, guys. Duke is home because they are defending their territory, and Wake Forest is away because they are attacking. This was a fairly close game. However, Wake Forest is up by two touchdowns currently. If Duke doesn't score anything here, I think this game is going to Wake Forest. So we'll see. Duke has the ball. They get a pass off. It's third and four. Duke needs the first down here. They don't. Things could be pretty bad for them. They could be out. Keep in mind, guys. Oh, they get the first down. But yeah, keep in mind, guys, whoever loses this game is eliminated from the tournament for good. Whoa, he's pushing hard. He didn't want to go down there. It's not looking so good for you guys. There's only a minute and 27 seconds left. We'll see if they can get anything fast, but if they don't, I think this game could be over. Well, that last play especially didn't help them. It looks like they're going to get stopped. It's fourth and two. Going for the run. Oh, they just barely got the first down. It almost looked like they didn't there for a second. Dude, going for another pass, but that is incomplete. They're not doing so good. Going for a huge throw and it is complete. Duke, a huge throw and it looks like, ooh, Wake Forest almost intercepted that. There's less and less time now. This game could be over pretty much. We'll see if they can get anything fast and it looks like they're gonna get a good gain. However, not the touchdown that they need. Fourth and goal, this could be the last play of the game here. Duke spent way too long getting down this field. So I really don't think they have a chance at coming back. And it looks like he's gonna be sacked and it is a turnover. Wake Forest gets the win. Well guys, Wake Forest gets the win in that first matchup. Let's go ahead and update the map. Well, Duke was the first to be eliminated. Let's head on to the next matchup. Spin in the wheel for the second time. This tournament, who will be playing second? And is it gonna be, ooh, it's close. It looks like it's gonna be barely Virginia Tech. Let's see which direction Virginia Tech will be attacking in and it looks like they'll be going south. That means they'll be playing Wake Forest once again. This is Wake Forest's second game of the tournament so far and it's only game two. This has been another super close game and game number two. Wake Forest is up by four points right now. It's 17 to 13. Virginia Tech has the ball. They have a chance at winning the game here. However, it's fourth and nine. They're gonna go for it, but it's not looking so good for them. Wake Forest could get the stop here and get a chance at winning the game. We will see. Never know what could happen. He's just standing there. He's standing there. He's going for a huge pass, it looks like. Huge throw, and it looks like it's going to be complete. He was wide open. What a play right there. However, let's see. There is a flag on the play, and it was pass interference, so it's going to be fourth and 19. That was a great play by Virginia Tech. However, it was pass interference, so it is fourth and 19. So not looking so good for them. However, they get a huge throw off, and they get the first down for the second time. Virginia Tech was able to get the fourth down conversion two times in a row over its second and 14. Another huge throw, and it looks like, was that complete? Yes, it was. Wow. There's a minute left in this game. If they can burn down enough clock and get a touchdown, then they could win the game. They're going for another pass, and it looks like, wow, that is complete as well. 11 yards and a first down. Virginia Tech, let's see what you can do here. They're going for another pass, but no, it's going to be fourth and three. QB got under pressure there, so he just threw the ball away. It is fourth and three. This game could be over here. Each team has a chance of winning this game. And it looks like, ooh, he's going to be stopped. It is a turnover. Wake Forest gets the stop there. Wake Forest is going to be able to get the win because they're going to burn through the rest of the clock. Well, that was super close right there. Wake Forest barely pulled away with the win. I thought Virginia Tech might be able to get the touchdown there. However, Virginia Tech was the second to be eliminated. Let's head on to the next matchup. Wake Forest is so far doing excellent in this tournament let's see who will be playing next they are definitely a contender at winning this all and is it going to be fsu yes it is let's see which direction fsu will be attacking in and it looks like they're going northeast therefore fsu will be playing georgia tech here let's head on into this game the seminoles have a chance to put this game away for good this game has been super close unexpectedly i thought florida state would get an easy win over georgia tech but georgia tech stayed in it it looks like they are going to get the touchdown and they are going to make this game 27 to 17 they're up by two possessions 
It is third and 18. Let's see if Georgia Tech has it in them. They're gonna be stopped. It's gonna be fourth and 10. Well, they're running it and they're gonna be stopped. This is turnover. Florida State is gonna get the win over Georgia Tech. Florida State is gonna be getting Georgia Tech's land. Great game. Let's move on and go on to the next round. Here we go, guys. Who is gonna be playing next? Let's go ahead and see. There's still many teams yet to have played and it looks like, ooh, is it gonna be Virginia? Yes, just barely. Which direction will Virginia be attacking in? And it looks like they will be going Northeast. And that means Virginia will be getting some free land here as no one is currently in Maryland. Well, Virginia looked out on some free land there. Let's get on to the next matchup. No one played that last round. Let's see if anyone will play this next round. It is time to see and it looks like is it going to be Virginia again? Oh, it might just be Pittsburgh though. Yes, it is. Let's see which direction Pittsburgh will be attacking in. And it looks like they'll be going south, which means they'll be playing Virginia. So Virginia will get a chance to play after all. I mean, this game is pretty much a blowout. It's not even worth Virginia kicking the onside kick here. Virginia did end up getting the ball on the onside kick there, but Pittsburgh is going to blow up Virginia. So they get the win. Virginia will be eliminated. Here we go. Pittsburgh just beat Virginia. So they will go ahead and take their land. Without further ado, let's see who's playing next. It's so now time to see who is playing next and it looks like it's gonna be north carolina for their first time this tournament let's go ahead and see where north carolina will be attacking and it looks like they'll be going north therefore that means they will be attacking wake forest this should be a good game this game has been back to back scoring and it is only a one touchdown game right now as north carolina is up by seven points 35 to 28 against wake forest wake forest doesn't get the touchdown here north carolina will get the win and eliminate wake forest for good wake forest has been doing super good so far in this tournament so they don't want to be eliminated now let's see do they have what it takes they're going for a huge throw Ooh, he gets the catch there is only a minute and 10 seconds left in this game they still have three timeouts let's see if they can get it done here or will north carolina get the stop quarterback was under pressure there it looks like it's gonna be third and one they get the first down there there's a minute left in this game they're almost to the 50 yard line going for a pass and it looks like oh he's gonna get the catch that is 12 yards right there quarterback is gonna run scramble and he's gonna get eight yards there was a flag let's see who is it on it's on wake forest oh second and seven here and the quarterback gets sacked for eight yards oh no north carolina wants to get the win here they don't want to lose in their first game however wake forest also doesn't want to lose so they're gonna throw the ball but it's fourth and 15. it's not looking so good for them right now this could be the last play of the game this game could be over here if they don't get the first down but there's only 23 seconds left in this game they're gonna throw the ball huge throw and it looks like oh he was so close to getting the first down he was one yard short but north carolina is gonna get the win that was such a close game north carolina just pulled away with the win barely wake forest had a good run over north carolina is gonna take over their territory let's see who's playing next there's still a lot of teams who have not played so this could be good still and it looks like louisville is gonna be one of them as this is their first game let's see which direction louisville will be attacking in and it looks like they'll be going northeast and that looks like louisville will be playing west virginia this has been yet another super close game but it looks like louisville is going to pull away with the win here especially if they can get another touchdown that would absolutely seal this game for good it's third and six though there's a minute left in the game louisville was able to kill a lot of the clock there they're going to be able to kill the rest of the clock so louisville is going to win the game so west virginia just got eliminated in their first round and louisville just took their territory let's head into the next matchup here we go guys let's see who will be playing next this should be good here and it looks like ooh, miami's going to be playing for the first time and miami is obviously only bordering with fsu so that will be the matchup as it looks like miami could be getting a huge win over the seminoles here as it is 27 to 14 there's only a minute left in the game and it is second and 20 one for a huge throw and they complete it wow what a play however will they get a touchdown in time and they're down by two touchdowns right now as well and he's gonna be oh he broke the tackle he almost got sacked there for a huge loss but he didn't he's gonna run the ball but it's gonna be third and 13 florida state is also out of timeouts so i don't know about this guys i think that this game's over miami's gonna get the win over florida state there's only 30 seconds left in the game so this is gonna be a huge pickup for miami as florida state has a lot to land here we go here's the updated map it's looking very colorful right now let's head on to the next map time to see who will be playing next there's still a lot of teams left and i'm pretty sure there's still teams who have not played yet and pittsburgh is going to be playing yeah like i was saying there's still a lot of teams yet to have played and it looks like pittsburgh is going to be going west that means pittsburgh will be able to take some territory here as they're going to be taking an empty state well there we go pittsburgh got lucky there let's see who will be playing next and yeah the teams who have not played yet are clemson nc state boston college and syracuse so let's go ahead and see who will be playing next after that short round right there and it looks like is it going to be boston college Ooh, just barely, yes, their first game. And taking a look at our map, Boston College is only bordering with Syracuse. So this will be a matchup between two teams who have not played yet. Well, guys, Boston College is going to be getting a huge win over Syracuse. This game was not really close ever. 
Sorry, Syracuse, but you're eliminated in the first round, and that almost got intercepted as well. Little Boston College up here will be taking New York. There they go. Syracuse got eliminated in the first game of the tournament for them, and let's see who will be playing next, and it's going to be Boston College again. Wow. Well, Boston College is only bordering with Pittsburgh again, so this will be the matchup. Well, guys, I was not really expecting this, but it looks like Boston College is going to be getting a huge victory over Pitt. Therefore, Pitt will be eliminated, and Boston College will get their land. Boston College will be getting all of Pitt's territory here, as they just took them over and eliminated them. It's time to see who is playing next in this next round. There's getting fewer and fewer teams each game, guys, and it looks like it's going to be NC State for the first time. NC State is finally going to be playing, and they are going to be attacking to the Southwest. Well, guys, that looks like they're going to be just barely attacking Clemson here. This is both of these teams' first games. Clemson is getting a huge victory over NC State in their first game. This is what I expected, honestly. It is 38 to 21. Clemson is going to get the win here. NC State will be eliminated in their first game. Huge throw, though. Let's see if it's complete. Oh, no, it's not. So here we go, guys. Clemson is going to be taking NC State's territory. And that was a great game by then. Let's head on to the next matchup. Here we go, guys. Let's spin the wheel and see who will be playing next. We are down to five teams, and it looks like Miami will be playing. Let's see where Miami will be going, and it looks like they will be going to the west. Getting lucky here, as they are going to take some territory for free. So let's get on to the next round. That round, Miami just got some free territory there. So let's head on and see if somebody will be playing this round. And it looks like Clemson is going to be playing again. See which direction Clemson Clemson will be playing in. They're coming off a huge win here and they will be going northwest. Therefore, they will be playing the Tar Heels here. North Carolina, this should be a very good game. There is about a minute left in this game. North Carolina has a chance to win this game here as they're down by three or they could tie up the game with a field goal. We will see what happens. Clemson is up by three right now. North Carolina has the ball. They're gonna go for a pass and they're gonna get a solid nine yards there. Clemson does not wanna give up the win here. However, North Carolina is out of timeouts. So let's see if they can get anything going here or will Clemson get the stop and get the win. Ooh, nice play here, but it's gonna be stop. Oh no, he gets the first down. Going for a pass and he is wide open. He's gonna get a first down. If they can continue to move down the field like this, I think they can easily get in the field goal range and tie this game or possibly get the win, but no, they get sacked for seven yards. It is third and 17 guys, not looking so great for North Carolina right now. Going for the pass, but no. It's gonna be fourth and 10. This game could very well be over right here if they don't get the first down. Going for a pass. Huge throw. Is it gonna be complete? Oh, oh, I thought he almost picked that up, but no, it's a turnover. Clemson gets the win. Clemson's gonna be able to run out the rest of the clock, so they get the win. That was close. Here we go. Clemson taking over North Carolina. That was a great game. We are down to the final four. Boston College, Louisville, Clemson, and Miami. I'm gonna spin the wheel for the first time in the final four, and let's see who will be playing first, and it looks like it's gonna be Boston College. Boston College has a chance to play Louisville or Clemson here. Let's see which direction this will be, and it looks like Boston College will be playing Louisville. Boston College is up by four points right now. Louisville has the ball hover and a minute and 15 seconds left to get down the field they need a touchdown though to win the game a field goal they would still lose so they got to get going fast louisville is also out of timeouts here so let's see if they can get anything going and no that's gonna be a loss of two yards Boston College wants the win here they want to stay alive in this tournament however same with Louisville it is fourth and 12 Boston College is looking like they're gonna win this game however Louisville if they make something crazy happen you never know fourth and 12 Going for a huge throw, and it looks like they're gonna, gonna be complete, but there's a flag. And it is on the offense. So it is gonna be fourth and 22. It is fourth and 22. Let's see if they can get another crazy fourth down conversion here. Oh, nope, he's gonna be sacked, and that's a turnover. Boston College is gonna get the win here. They're gonna be able to run out the rest of the clock. Boston College is gonna be taking over Louisville. Now we are down to the final three teams. Here we go, guys. Final three teams now. Let's see who will be playing next. Oh, it's gonna be close. Is it gonna be Clemson? Oh, this is so close right now. Oh, it's Boston College, just barely. Let's see which direction will Boston College be attacking in. And it looks like they will be going to the southwest. They will be gaining this empty state here. Well, Boston College is the biggest so far, and no one played that round. So let's move on to the next one and see who will be playing. And it looks like, is it gonna be Clemson? Yes, it is. Let's see which direction Clemson will be attacking in, and it looks like they will be going north. Therefore, that means they will be playing Boston College. It's safe to say, I was not expecting this score at all. Boston College is up 17 to 7 against Clemson. However, Clemson could get a touchdown. I have no clue why they're running out the clock. Clemson needs to get back into this game fast. Here we go, Clemson. Can you get the touchdown here? Nope. It is second and goal. We'll see if Clemson can get the touchdown. It looks like Oh, it got picked off by Boston College. No way. This game is over. Boston College upsets Clemson. I cannot believe that game right there. 
Boston College just upset Clemson. Clemson just got eliminated. We are down to the final two teams. It is Boston College versus Miami in the championship. Here is the championship round, guys. It is Boston College versus the Miami Hurricanes. This has been such a close championship game. And once again, Boston College has somehow found themselves in the lead as they are leading 24 to 20 against Miami. Miami needs something fast here. They need a touchdown to win this game. Field goal would not get them the win or even the tie. However, it is third and 11. Can Miami pull this off? Let's see it. Miami with a huge throw and it is complete. Yes, what a play. There's still 49 seconds left in this game. That is plenty of time for that is plenty of time for them to get down the field. They still have two timeouts as well. Here we go Miami. Another huge throw and it's complete. No way. Wow, 38 yards right there. If he didn't get tackled at the last second there, he probably would have taken that all the way to the house. Here we go. 42 seconds left in the game. That is another first down. Miami is getting down this field. Here we go Miami. Pulling off a quick pass, but no, that is a loss for one yard. Both teams have a chance at winning this game here. If Boston College gets the defensive stop, they win the championship. But if Miami gets the touchdown here, they will win this all. Let's see if Miami can do it here. Looks like they're going for another pass, but no. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. It's fourth and six, though. This very well could be the last play of the game. It's all coming down to this here. This championship game has been so exciting. Here we go, man. Miami can... Do they have what it takes? Oh, no. It is a turnover. Wow. What a last play. And well, Boston College is miraculously gonna win this all. I can't believe that, guys. Boston College is gonna win the whole entire ACC. Well, there you have it, guys. Boston College is your champions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more coming soon.